Hey Sagittarius, hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for May 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. And because it's a general reading, it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in this reading because it's general. Okay, so let's see, Sagittarius, what is going on with you? First half of May. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on? All right, we have the Nine of Cups crossed by the star for the main situation here. Okay, so this is Aquarius energy. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius or you might have a strong Aquarius in your charts. Um, Okay, there's a big wish. I mean, both of these cards are representing a wish, um, a very, very deep desire for something. And I mean, with the star being in the challenge position, I feel like, you know, this wish at the moment has not been 100% fulfilled. So we'll get more information when we clarify. Let's see for your energy, we have the sun the Queen of Swords, and the King of Cups. Okay, so we also have Leo energy showing up here. Some of you might be dealing with Leo or have Leo in your charts. Um, yeah, big wish <laughs> on your side for sure. It could I definitely feel like it's on the other person's side as well, but um, it's, it's showing up for you here for sure. This is the person that you want to be happy with. This is the person you want that happily ever after with. Um, I feel like, you know, there was a point in time in the recent past or maybe even currently where, you know, you, you felt like, you know, this was definitely going to happen, you know, that this was going to be a success and everything was going to be happily ever after. Um, and then I feel like, you know, Maybe there was something you had you weren't able to see. Um, because then the Queen of Swords comes in and it's like reality check or you know, seeing something a little bit more clearly. Um, I definitely see you still wanting this. I mean, your emotions are still here, but I feel like, you know, if you you may be going through a phase where you're just like, okay, you know what, I just need to cut this out completely, you know, if it's not going to happen. Um, but then I see you kind of returning to like this place of being very stable emotionally concerning whatever the situation is or wherever it's heading. Let's see for them. We have the nine of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles and the six of cups. Okay, interesting. All right, this person that you're dealing with here, they may be involved in some kind of a commitment, um, possibly. And I feel like because I'm seeing this Nine of Pentacles when you are in this like really happy, you know, state of, you know, feeling like everything is going well and they appeared at that time to be um, pretty self-reliant, not attached to something, but then something shifted. So that's why I'm saying this. It doesn't have to be like, a marriage, although it definitely can be with this Ten of Pentacles. I'm also getting with this Ten of Pentacles that this person, you know, they, this is what they would want with you to have that stability, that long-term possibly marriage with you, a commitment for sure. All right. Especially since we have the Six of Cups at the end here. So it could be that this person was detaching from something and was seemingly, you know, more independent um, possibly even feeling very secure within the, their own self. Um, but there's something here. There's something here that they are committed to. Which, I again, I feel like it's not 100% you because this wish, it hasn't really been fulfilled. However, this person is moving towards wanting this reconnection with you. And I, I can't remember where we got the six of... Cups, we either got it for Aries or Leo. Um, and I feel like it was in the exact same position, actually. So I do feel like this person is either moving towards 
um, having a lot of nostalgia for you, but also wanting this reconciliation, wanting to come back to this. So basically it feels like this person was moving in your direction, um, then maybe got held up with some commitments, obligations, but then they're moving back towards this connection with you. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Nine of Swords. Okay, but there's some stress. There's um, anxiety here. So let's, let's clarify this. Let's see the Nine of Cups with the Star card. All right, and we have the World, the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles showing up again. What is going on here? I feel like, you know, there's this, there's such a big wish, there's such a deep desire on both sides, but it's like, there's a cycle that needs to end. Something needs to close out in order for this to happen. And that could be anything, but whatever that is, that cycle is, it is involving some betrayal or some kind of a deceit, which could even be somebody betraying their own self, their own desires. And I feel like that's what it is. I feel like somebody is betraying their own desires. I do feel like it's this person, by the way, unless the roles are reversed. Um, they're betraying their own desires because of some some kind of a commitment here. Their true desire is to have this commitment with you. Now this commitment, again, it could just be some um, obligations. It could just be strictly financial. Like this person might not be feeling, um, this is just an example, very good about themselves because they, they have a lot of financial obligations. And just when they thought that, you know, things were being stable, you know, then they have that again. This is just what I'm getting. I know other readers would see this differently, but th this is what I'm getting. <laughs> um, yeah. And for others, of course, it could be another marriage or commitment or something. So let's see. For your energy, let's clarify the sun. The seven of wands and temperance. And if you guys can hear that sound, and I know I say this like all the time because the, the cats are always here snoring. <laughs> so yeah, if you can hear that, it's the cats snoring. Um, I need to play back one of these videos and see if that's even audible in the videos. Um, okay, so for the sun, the seven of wands and temperance. I feel like, you know, you're... You're kind of trying to protect yourself now against against this wish. Um, so I feel like you know you're you're trying to bring yourself out of feeling like you know yeah this is going to be this happily ever after. It's like you're trying to find that middle ground where okay you know I can still have my emotions I can still you know feel the way I feel, but not expect it not get, you know, um, not fly so high. Because if I fly high, you know, then I will fall hard. So I feel like, you know, you were, you were in that place though of flying high at some point. And yeah, now you're kind of blocking that, trying to block that out to protect yourself. This is also with temperance being here, that's also your energy, Sagittarius. Um, so yeah, trying to find that, and possibly for some of you, even just trying to heal from that. Let's see the Queen of Swords. The Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so... You moved from that flying high space to not being so sure anymore as to what might be going on here. Feeling like, yeah, that might not be the case. And feeling like now you're seeing things more clearly. The emotions are still there though. The emotions are still there. So of course this is not easy. Um, 
I mean, for some of you, you might be trying to block out your emotions. With that Queen of Swords, you're... Almost like you, you don't want to be feeling what you're feeling. Let's see the King of Cups. The Hermit and the Knight of Swords. So you're finding you're finding stability emotionally. You're finding stability. Um, this is also Virgo's energy, by the way. Um, I feel like it's it's more like going within, going within yourself, and just really finding your own self. And then it's like balancing out in like two different types of emotions here, like two extremes of emotions. And the one of them is wanting to be completely alone and completely isolating yourself from this connection or for some of you, maybe even from the world. And then on the other hand, wanting to just, you know, um, charge forward towards this. So it's like finding that middle ground between those two extreme energies. And it's like, as you do that, you are learning a lot about yourself. And finding, finding inner peace and inner balance. It's, it's almost as if this was meant to happen. You were meant to fly so high so that you could learn this, so that you could learn this like moderation. And you're doing that. You're definitely doing that. So things are getting easier for you, in other words. Okay, let's see what's going on with the other person here. Let's see the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like this person um, may have expressed to you, when you, probably around the same time that you were flying high, they expressed to you that, you know, things are going great, um, everything is moving you know, forward perfectly, or at least that's the vibe you were getting from them if they weren't directly expressing this, okay? This is what you were picking up on, but I do get that for a lot of you, this was actual um, ex expression. Um, but they were holding back. I feel like this person was actually holding back, not intentionally, um, but there was some kind of an insecurity here with this four of pentacles. Like they were not as much in this nine of pentacles as they appeared. Or as they thought, maybe. You know, I'm not saying that they did this on purpose. There was a bit of an insecurity here. Because uh, the Nine of Pentacles, that's all about confidence. And yeah, you know, that's how they appeared. Very confident that everything is on its way for this wish fulfillment. But no, there is an insecurity here. So let's see the Ten of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, so there's confusion around commitment. That's what happened. Not only that, look at this. You know, we had, like I said, there was this insecurity. Um, and the example that I gave, you know, concerning finances, and now it's showing up as this Five of Pentacles. So I knew that this Ten of Pentacles, even though the Ten of Pentacles usually represents wealth and, you know, everything is great. I mean, it's even, heck, it's even, you know, it follows the nine. Um, but yeah, I was getting that it's something different and it's confirmed now. So this person um, began to feel that they would lose this Ten of Pentacles, whatever it is. Um, maybe it's some obligation, some responsibility, some commitment, a marriage even, finances, whatever whatever, there's this fear. There was this fear of losing this. And I feel like this might be the current status right now for many of you. And so there's confusion around it. Um, confusion of having to face some kind of a loss. But let's see, because then we have the Six of Cups. So let's clarify that Six of Cups. I feel like there's so much back and forth here um, because then, you know, the Six of Cups, is it's very promising, it's very positive, but then we have the Nine of Swords. So let's see. 
Nine of Cups. We have the Four of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, see, and there you are showing up here um, in this person's energy. This person is definitely healing. Healing a lot. They're wanting this. They're wanting this back. They're wanting this connection. I mean, I don't think they ever stopped wishing for it, to be honest with you. Um, but they're coming to this place of really, really feeling nostalgic and healing something either within this connection or in their situation, which is making them want to move again towards, towards you. I'm even getting that you bring them a sense of peace. So let's see, why do we have the Nine of Swords here? I don't feel like this is you, to be honest. Um, I feel like it's more likely the other person. But know that if this Nine of Swords is you, okay, this is not written in stone. It's showing up for a reason, and that's because if you're watching this video, you have that opportunity to shift this. Unfortunately, we can't control other people's energy and what they do. So if it's the other person, well, unless they're, you know, <laughs> aware of this coming up, um, they might have to face it. But then again, it could be a part of their lesson. So let's see. Nine of Swords. Why is this here? We have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's them. They're the ones with all the pentacles, right? Definitely for some of you could be dealing with, with an earth sign, by the way. Um, okay, King of Pentacles, the Empress, and the King of Swords which you can't even see there. Okay, there. Well, you know what? It, it definitely is this person, but um, this is going to be a reality check for them. I feel like you've already gone through yours. Theirs is coming up because they're going to be missing you. They're going to want this connection. Um... I mean, just as much as they always have, but I feel like having taken this step back, because that's what I feel like that's what they did. It's like they moved forward and they took a step back. Um, there's a lot of nostalgia here, a big desire for, you know, coming back to this. That's going to create a lot of stress for them. That's going to create a lot of stress for them because I feel like you're going to be a little bit in this hermit mode, right? You're trying to figure out your emotional stability. So I don't think you're going to be 100% there for them even though you still have those emotions, even though you still want this. So that's going to create a lot of stress for them or maybe even having to face this 10 of pentacles, whatever that is for them, this obligation, you know, having to deal with that and doing something about that. That might also cause them stress, whatever it is. Either way, they're showing up as this king of swords, being more determined than before to move towards you. Um, it's just that there's a lot of stress attached to that at the same time. So, okay, so it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. So let's see. I mean, for them, for you, it doesn't look, you're, I feel like you're, you know, you're in a better position by far um, than they are, but, it's not too bad for them either. All right, Sagittarius, if this resonated, the final message for you is the blue moon. Believe in the impossible. So yeah, and I feel like, you know, maybe this person has to start believing in the impossible too. Because something here with whatever's going on with them is feeling, might be feeling impossible. Um, but yeah, take this message however it resonates for you. And those were your messages, Sagittarius. I thank you so much for watching and much love.